Honestly, I'm not really sure I remember my first time on Telly Skis. I think it must have been at the Bear Valley Telmark Festival way back in the day. My dad had recently decided that I was getting a little too fast with him on Alpine gear, so he figured putting me on some floppier bindings would slow me down for a bit. I think the first time that I went tele skiing was up at Sierra at Tahoe. And I got a pair of Telemark skis and put it to bindings for my 10th birthday. And uh, yeah, my dad taught me on the bunny hill for the first half of the day how to drop my knee in and make a telemark turn. I didn't really know how many life lessons I was going to learn throughout this journey. And traveling throughout the world, I've definitely met some of my best friends and have had the coolest experiences of my life. So going into this season, it started out kind of slow. It was pretty lackluster. We didn't get as much snow as we would have liked, but uh, we may do and tried to get ready for when that next big storm hit. I wasn't expecting to uh, go anywhere international this past season. Bevan and I both got the phone call from our friend Sven, who guides in Japan, come late December and said that we needed to get our tickets to get over there as soon as possible. When it snows there, it snows a ton like it snows in Tahoe, um, but it's, it's way lighter, it's way less dense, and you just fall through it, and I think it's the closest thing that I've ever gotten to the feeling of flying. It was pretty much everything that we could have dreamt of. There's nothing that really compared to it. Everybody's there for the same purpose, to go out and get shacked in powder and keep skiing, eat sushi, and go back and have more stories to tell. never skied powder like that before in my life. Um, in fact, it was, it was really challenging. It was something, it was a whole new skill, you know, balancing, especially when you're dropping a knee.
big old active volcano right now in pursuit of fresh powder and good times. Once we got to the top, it was amazing. We were skiing into this active volcano and getting face shots the entire way. When we got back to Tahoe, uh, there wasn't really much new snow accumulation. We knew in the back of our mind that we had this free heel life trip coming up and regardless of what it was like, we were gonna have a great time in Utah. I was super excited to be going on a road trip in my van. Pretty much the whole reason I bought it and converted it was for road trips like these, going out to remote places and being completely self-sufficient. The Free Hill Life is a Telemark specific ski shop in Utah. Josh Madsen does a really good job of uh, running that and really promoting the sport of Telemark. Yeah, it's not every day that you uh, get together with a bunch of guys that want to huck their meat off a bunch of rocks and spin 360s and do backflips and getting together with a bunch of telekiers that want to do that is, I think, really special.
know, there's a fine line between pushing the boundaries of a sport and becoming the victim of your own aspirations. After events like that, you really need to kind of reflect on what's important in life and just start to get a better understanding of um, what you, you can and can't do and what is appropriate to push and, and what's not. I took off to go up to Wyoming um, and uh, met up with my friend Lauren. We were all headed up to Grand Targhee for the Big Mountain Telemark competition and it's kind of this big reunion where all the best heliskiers around get together and compete but that's when it happened. I saw it coming from like 100 feet away. I couldn't do anything. I was like sliding right toward this car and then just, you know, it was, it was gone. I was pretty shocked after I crashed the van. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it, dude. Oh. That van was everything to me. Losing it was like losing my whole way of life and the lifestyle that I moved to the mountains to seek. Competing was pretty much the last thing on my mind. But at the same time, the comp was the next day and uh, there was barely even time to process what had really just happened. You know, what it's all about is really just being there with all your buddies and seeing everyone like push themselves and push the sport um, and you know try to put their best skiing down. <laughs> so competition skiing for me is one of those hit or miss type of things conditions that day just weren't in my favor and you know i fell and actually ended up injuring my left knee and kind of partially tearing my acl you know trying to compete competitively <laughs> Yeah, Lauren's pretty much the craziest, goofiest motherfucker on a pair of telemark skis that I've ever seen. <laughs> we call it snow marking. You know, ever, ever since I, uh, I put these things on my feet, I knew that I just wanted to become a professional snow marker. It was just like the dream, you know, just to snow mark around the world, maybe go to some competitions. If you got snow blades that say go big on them, you gotta go big. You know, you just gotta go ski central.
After a week of hanging around Jackson, the van was eventually deemed a total loss and coming back to Tahoe when it was snowing so hard was the best gift they could have asked for. It really allowed me to let go of what had happened. Medicine, cousin villain, let myself in. Only need a stick of butter, cheese, and some vitamin D. Double O M adds a masculine. Hang your hat on the steeds, a gentleman's testament. The rest been sold and told like the book of Evangel. I'm a whole of DVD, I ain't seen scandal. A handful, I owe you, won't miss a brew or two or six. Torture them lyrics, mics, and crucifix. Fresh new kicks, I would put them on seven. Them shoes always hurt my corn. Bottles will return this young shirt, is worn torn. Got you on the track with the horn, word is born. I see you when you're gone. On to the next event, represent, get paid, big cuzzle, villain message sent. aspect of skiing I enjoy but for me personally I really like just being in the backcountry with my friends. In the past here in the Sierras we've definitely had some hit or miss seasons and sometimes it's a struggle to make this lifestyle happen but in the end it's worth it because of all the experiences and friends gained along the way. That's why I teleport ski.